Rainbow imagery is popular in Himalayan art and it can be found in a lot of different ways. Um, probably where it is most commonly seen is uh, as a halo or surrounding the outer rim of the circle of a halo. This is common. We find this with Bun and we find it with Buddhism. We find it with early uh, painting styles coming out of India and we find it in uh, modern painting styles. So this is really something that has um, been consistent over time. Now, we also, um, especially with the Bun religion, we can find uh, the rainbow used as an article of clothing. It can be used as a shawl or an, or an upper robe or an upper garment. This is quite common with um, <clears throat> uh, Welse Ngampa and uh, Takla Membar. Two, these are two uh, prominent Bun wrathful deities, and they have a number of retinue figures, and the retinue deities can have this... Uh, this uh, rainbow garment uh, surrounding their shoulders or upper body. Um, what we also find is rainbow spheres where we have um, different figures, uh, not so much deities. It's more often it's uh, his, it's quasi quasi historical figures, uh, possibly um, guru yoga or lami naljur uh, practices in Buddhism and Bun where you can have these um, rainbow spheres or perfect circles and then inside is a figure. Um, now another another uh, type of goddess we can find in Bun is where the the goddess herself is just completely a, a rainbow. Her body is the colors of a rainbow. Um, and this is uh, unique to Bun. Buddhism coming out of an Indian cultural kind of context they don't really have this kind of, uh, of concept the way the bun do. Um, now, streamers are very common. Streamers are where you have emanating from a, a, the form of, a, of an arhat or an elder or from a deity. You'll have a rainbow light going out. And, and uh, from the point of origin, it's narrow. Uh, from the point of completion or, or, or the end of the rainbow, it becomes wider. And this is a convention uh, in art uh, with light. Light always starts out uh, very, very thin uh, and then it becomes wider and wider uh, towards the conclusion. Um, so streamers we can find um, in many different ways uh, in art uh, and it is an artist convention that they can employ uh, for many different reasons. Now something we we do have in common with uh, uh, buddhism and bun is the notion of, this notion of a rainbow body and this is coming out of a uh out of religious texts where uh, somebody who's very highly realized at, uh, can at some point manifest a rainbow body and then disappear completely from this world. Often it, it, uh, it is believed that it is at the point of death where the body then transforms into a rainbow and, and then it, there is no corporeal body remaining, uh, only sometimes hair and fingernails or so it's said. So we do have paintings that can depict um, the body turning into a rainbow. Um, we have a number of different ways that this can be done in art. So, so yes, there there is a lot of rainbow imagery. It is really mu very much up to the artist to decide where and when and how to employ a lot of it. So if you like this uh, series of videos, then uh, please um, hit the like button. You can also share and you can also subscribe. If you uh, would like to support Himalayan Art Resources, which is a not-for-profit uh, organization, then you can join HAR on Patreon, where we have longer videos um, that are, are more select, and we have uh, essays, unpublished essays, and, uh, and images that are not yet on the HAR website.